let's take a look at organizational learning strategies. The purpose of organizational learning is to get agencies, departments, and individuals thinking about what and how they're doing and what and how they could or should be doing differently or better. Organizational learning concerns these processes. The public hopes that public organizations will respond quickly to change and be forward-looking and efficient in their ways, and is highly disappointed when agencies do not meet these standards. But training strategies are seldom concerned with these purposes. Training is not expected to lead to the redefinition of a person's job tasks, though information could lead to discussion. Much has been written on organizational learning and the academic lineage is deep. At issue are one, encouraging individuals to be willing and able to see things that could be done differently and better, and two, getting buy-in from different groups of people in the organization to support change. The first issue involves spark of creativity. This is not only about finding a better solution to a current problem, say an overburdened delivery process, but also about suggesting new policies or services that are cost effective or attractive in some other way. The second issue is getting support from one's own unit, higher levels of management and rival departments. New ideas often are called into question when something's about existing goals, methods, or policies and assumptions are made. In recent years, a number of organizational practices and policies have evolved that encourage departments and work units to engage in learning, creativity, and change. A very simple and effective approach is asking employees as individuals and as groups to submit ideas for improving their own work, that of their work units, or that of the agency. Organizations are still experimenting with different ways of getting new ideas and initiatives from their employees and managers. Any system is only as good as its leaders, so how leaders and managers are selected and evaluated matters greatly in determining the nature of the organization. A learning organization needs managers and leaders who support learning and the search for improvement that it implies. A lot has been written on managing change. Change is to be expected and ongoing. Which organization today can afford not to constantly be changing in some way? Listed below are the major elements of managing change. Having insightful analysis about forces prompting change and organizational strategy. Being clear about the nature and scope of change. Involving or consulting people and addressing their concerns at any point. Wisely choosing feasible operational targets. And wisely choosing those who are tasked with implementing change. Further, declaring and celebrating successes, adjusting and learning from initial efforts, and having plans for dealing with setbacks, learning curves, and resistance. While this list builds on the lessons learned from change management, in learning organizations many new ideas are supported by the strategic purposes of public agencies but will not always lead to major changes in broader purposes. Organizations make a lot of small changes too.